I'm really sorry. It's disgusting. Vegan cheese is gross. Sorry, I, I actually cannot. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, you know why I'm laughing. Um, well, it's more of a shy, oh dear, I'm really, really sorry. Okay, sorry that I have not put out a video in a really, really long time, but um, just been going through some things and that's basically been it. Um, I would say the last six months of this year has been extremely trying for one reason or another. And I basically took, okay, you know what? I turned this AC off because of sound, but like this is not some big production. It's not that deep. Just hold on. It's hot in here. Like 56 seconds into the video, and I'm freaking sweating already. Anyway, like I was saying, um, uh, I've just taken a couple of months off, um, just simply because, just for like for my well-being, my physical well-being, my mental well-being, and I think it's really, really important. Um, as women, you know, we wear so many hats, we try and do so many things, we cater to so many people that we really need to find our own, it's like self-care basically, it's like find your own time, rest, respite, and I really, really needed that. So the last two months, I've really just been working on myself. I've just not gone to a lot of functions I've been invited to. I mean, I don't really go out like that anyway, but I have um, yeah, sorry, where was I? The camera went off. I just didn't have enough memory. Um, yeah, so I've just taken time off. Um, not gone to a lot of things. Not gone to a lot of friendship-based things. I know that sounds a bit weird, but like, I think a lot of people have not, like, a lot of my friends haven't seen me. Um, I've just taken a time out without telling one I've taken a time out. Because when you're taking a time out, you don't really say, hey, I'm taking a time out. I'm not going to see you for two months because I didn't know how it was good, long it was going to last. So I've just been really been taking care of myself and I am all the better for it. So how are you guys doing? I missed you guys. I missed talking to you. Talking is like therapy, but I wasn't really in the place to talk um, to the camera. So, but I'm back now and it's basically the end of the year. It's December and we're rounding off. I just wanted to tell you guys like what I've been up to. So today I'm going to talk about two things. I've got a story time. I love a good story. Um, like so many things have happened. Um, so one of the random things that happened to me over the last two months and then what was the second thing? Well, the first thing, the story time, the second thing, the first thing is, um, <laughs> so, well, I'm not anymore. But um, I went vegan for two months. Really, really excited. So who's going to go vegan with me? And I know all the like proper vegans out there, like who don't wear leather and all that kind of stuff, probably are just so annoyed that this is like some kind of hack that people are, you know, kind of falling into or whatever. But look, I did it for health reasons, right? So first of all, I started off with a 21 day Daniel fast because I just wanted to completely cleanse my system. Now, you can read up on the Daniel fast um, and it is about Daniel in the Bible. It's not just like they just called it the Daniel fast for no reason. And that's because he went for three weeks um, and ate, what was it, ate food that was not satisfying. <laughs> Basically like legumes and um, fruit. On the Daniel fast, if you if you Google it, you'll see that there's a lot of stuff you it would it, it will guide you through as to what you can eat. So fruit, vegetables, um, but there's also like the way you prepare food, the oils you can use, use limited oil, um, nothing deep fried. Um, so basically, I, I lived on very bland moi moi f4 stew. Because uh, you can't really use seasoning like that. Um, beans. What else? Fruit, veg. Bread. You can have unleavened bread. Bread made with no yeast. And um, it has to be wholemeal. So if you're buying it from a store, excuse me. Dear, what's that? If you're buying it from a store, you need to um, read the back because you can't have any sugar. You can't have sugar. You can't have tea. You can't have coffee. You can only drink water during the 21 days fast. Um, what else did I eat? You can eat brown rice. I didn't eat brown rice, which is weird. I just didn't want to eat rice. I, I felt like, mm, can I eat rice? So I just didn't, didn't eat it. Quinoa. Um, yam. You can eat yam. Uh, you can't eat 
pasta i think i'm not sure i didn't eat pasta i didn't eat pasta i didn't eat rice for 21 days and my 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 i was literally like i felt so clean like really really clean really clean so after the 21 days i was like you know what this is basically a vegan diet vegan you can eat like french fries and stuff on the dining fast you can't um so i was like you know what? i'm just going to continue being vegan for as long as i can do it and whilst i was doing this i watched this um show on netflix called game changers and it talks about how your body breaks down meat and chicken and fish and dairy obviously on the vegan you can't have dairy um and how how long it takes how much effort it takes and how hard it is basically and on your body and how 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 human meat technically are not really supposed to be eating that much meat i think that you know we're able to you just go to the supermarket buy what you want and all that kind of stuff and it's like you should probably just eat it like once a week maybe if you can you know just not that much and what i've learned through this diet is that I now know I could go days on end without eating meat and not crave it so much. Not, you know, Nigerians is like, if you don't have meat with a meal, it's not a meal, basically. I mean, that was kind of like the thing growing up. But I, I literally would wake up, I'd be able to wake up with like a spring in my step. I'm not overly tired. Um, it was just amazing. So look, if you want to try this vegan thing, try it. You probably think it was going to be really hard, but trust me, after like, definitely after the first week, and then you start, it, it becomes easy. And then you start to think of new ideas. Oh, what can I have? I can have a vegetable wrap. You know, just think about having a burrito without the cheese or without the chicken, fish, meat, whatever. You know, it's still going to be tasty. And you know how you can spice things and all that stuff. So the vegan diet, obviously I lost weight because I also was on no sugar. Um, I lost a, I, 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 like that no sugar thing was amazing. I like sugar and then when i finally had sugar um i was still on the vegan diet but i finally had sugar and i had sweet and salt popcorn i went to the cinema um last week i saw living in bondage and basically i hadn't had sugar in two months and um i spent the morning on the loo yeah on the toilet yeah so use your imagination it was not fun it was not pleasant i was on there for a while because my body was just reacting to oh, oh what is this what are, what are these toxins coming into my body um so yeah so what i would say is um really really try it if you if you want to like do a cleanse i think that's the best way to cleanse honestly like and just like no fried foods that kind of thing but i would say mentally physically i felt i still feel great i started to introduce fish um and some seafood and i'll tell you when i did that the next day waking up was very hard i'm talking about fish fish that breaks down a lot easier than chicken and meat i haven't even had meat yet like i just feel quite tired and i'm thinking oh my gosh so if i just go back to eating veggies like i'm gonna be fine so yeah so do you think you can try the vegan lifestyle it's not as hard as you think and i went to the supermarket in um vi the other day and they sold vegan cheese i'm really sorry it's disgusting vegan cheese is gross sorry i, I actually cannot unless you've never had cheese before and vegan cheese is your first outing of cheese <sighs> cheese vegan cheese is nasty um okay second thing i want to talk about quickly before i talk about story time is it's christmas time please be vigilant i told you about the time early on in the year where i got followed back home uh i got followed again so i went to a vigil and i was basically got home at 4 30 and i got followed this time i got to my gate let's not talk about how they got into the estate i had to kick up a fuss and complain and speak to the manager and all this kind of stuff um but just be vigilant because people are just like waiting lurking and following people and you know i mean i was fine i got into my house fine call security but just be vigilant because you know people are going to be out there partying drinking having a good time not thinking about what's going on and there are people out there who are people like people are in dire straits people are hungry i'm not making up excuses and some people are just greedy um i don't want to do any work i mean you can't can find a job and this is that's I'm going off tangent but basically people are desperate out there and they're desperate to do whatever so do not be a victim basically um sorry if the camera do shit there's oh, i can't even explain the tripod there's a problem with this thing so story time well so one day 
and to the anyway one day let me just finish the story before I start explaining I went to pick up my son from school nursery and I so the way it is it's like on the side of the road it's like in a residential area so I get to the school and there's a car in front of me so I drive behind the car and I park behind the car and I turn my car off only for the car in front of me the jeep in front of me to decide oh I'm going to reverse without looking in your in his rear view mirror and without looking to see who's behind and this guy reverses into my car so I'm trying to press the horn or start the car and I'm thinking and then he he literally rams into the front of my car and I'm like I'm like so I get out of the car and he's like ah oh, madam it's someone's driver and he's like ah oh, madam please I'm sorry I'm sorry and I'm like what like what what I guess you're not thinking so I was just really upset I said first of all forget about the car I'm mad about the car but forget about the car there are children walking up and down this place and you're reversing without looking what if you what if it wasn't a car and you smacked a child in the face or you ran a child over I said madam I'm sorry, I'm sorry I said I said you know what sorry isn't gonna cut it um your boss is not my one your boss is not my he now tells me he doesn't have credit well luckily I saw the nanny walk in to pick up um, the child right so I'm like okay I'm gonna wait for the nanny to come out so nanny comes out anyway, nanny comes out and I'm like um, I need you to call your boss because your driver just rammed in the back of my car and she was like ah okay okay so she calls I went to the school office I picked up a fuss anyway she calls the boss I speak to the guy the guy is not Nigerian <sighs> yeah the guy is South African or something and then he's like oh that i'm really sorry so i tell him what's going on and he's like oh i'm really sorry that oh blah 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 oh wow oh gosh she doesn't know what to do doesn't know what to do so i'm thinking okay this is a bit strange then uh his work colleague some nigerian guy picks up takes the phone and says oh, ma madam we're really sorry that please uh can we we'll sort this out that they're about to go for a meeting blah blah i said okay and i said oh can we take your number i said yeah take my number i said but let me take your number let me take your number because you decide you're not gonna call me no problem so anyway leave it the guy is still begging then of course you know the usual thing the guy is begging then all these random people from the streets come and i say ah madam it's just small shut up it's just small is it your car shut up people will bash into your car a new car and just say mm, madam sorry sorry but you have eyes when you were bashing the car you had eyes to bash the car but i'm saying sorry madam sorry sorry for yourself <sighs> sorry but it's fine i'm over it <laughs> okay so anyway leave that take the guy's number and all that jazz then i get home and i remember holy spirit was saying Dolapo, don't call him just leave it alone like it wasn't so bad just leave it alone so i remember taking out the piece of paper and thinking hmm, this guy and he says he's going to call me in an hour and i put the piece of paper down and then that was like 12 maybe one something and time passes i put my son to bed it's not like nine o'clock and i just realized oh this guy didn't call me this guy did not call me after saying oh sorry blah 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 okay no problem you didn't call me let's sort it out um i'm not like let me go and look for this piece of paper with this guy's number and i'm looking for the piece of, looking for the piece of paper and i remember when god said mm -mm, better forget about this girl forgive him forgive him forget about it <sighs> yeah where was i um so i just remember god telling me you know forgive him forgive him forgive him um and i couldn't find a piece of paper to call him to be annoyed that he did not call me about the car no problem so i thought oh, okay and i just remember thinking anyway i remember thinking hmm, that's interesting so the next morning i go to drop my son off at school and i drive and i see the nanny who i recognize and the children who i recognize and i see their mum, who i've never seen before so i'm like oh that's their mum." and guess what as I'm pulling up behind them, the nanny looks, recognizes my car, says something to the mum, and the mum doesn't even turn, doesn't even flinch, doesn't even acknowledge. She just carries on walking. So I'm like, okay, okay, girl, it's on and popping. Look at it, not on and popping, but I remember thinking, someone, you know what happened because they're gonna tell you, and she's basically told you, oh, this is the lady that your driver bashed the car and you're like 
not going to turn around because you don't want to deal with it. Okay, I will help you deal with it. Period! 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 So she goes in and, you know, I drop my son off. She drops her kids off because obviously I'm not going to do this in front of our kids. It's not that deep. And I go up to her and I say, hi, my name is Dark. Well, and I'm the lady whose driver like ran into the back of, into the front of my car. And she was like, oh gosh, yeah, sorry, I'm so sorry. And I just remember thinking, okay, it's fine to be sorry, but are you really? Because, and it's not that I wanted an apology. My thing is, if my driver, God forbid, has done something to someone and I am not present, I will try to make amends. Like, I will call, I will do what I said I'm going to do. Not somebody is telling you, oh, this is the lady, this thing happened to you, and you're just going to be like, okay, I'm just going to pretend it's not happening. And then when our children are in the same school, I'm just going to be like walking around like everything's okay. I just think that's a bloody liberty. You're taking the absolute piss. Period. So anyway, um, I say to her, you know, I, who I am and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, God, yeah, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 blah. And obviously, like, in the back of my mind, I wanted to say, that well so why are you not like i guess the point is not to be like why are you not acknowledging it i just went well i just wanted to let you know that it's not just about the car it's about the safety of our children that your guy is reversing without looking so this one that you 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 want to like ignore what's going on with me if it's somebody's kid you ain't ignoring jack do you understand that's what i was trying to get her to understand and she was like oh no no it's fine it's fine well everything is fine now because when we go to school she always says hi and we say hi and you know for me it's just like a lesson learned like you can't just your staff, you are your staff as far as I'm concerned. If your staff does something, it reflects on you. So if they're outside running a mockery and it's affecting someone, you need to deal with it. You need to deal with that person. You can't just be like, oh, well, my driver did it and I'm not going to say anything about it. No, I will call you up and okay? Mm. So yeah, that's the story. Sending you love and light. If anyone is going through anything, you... If you're going through anything, you just have to keep pushing. I know it's it's easier said than done, but trust me, this year I have been there. You just need to keep pushing. You need to keep praying. Play If you can't pray, play worship music. It really helps. After a while, just get in the spirit. Just get, get, get in that zone. And in all things, give God thanks, man. Because, yeah, I mean, things might be bad, but they cannot be bad forever. They cannot be bad forever. My 2020 is so bright, eh? Like, it's just, it's so bright that I can't even be moping around. Period! I cannot be moping around. I've done enough moping. So, please, just get up. Go for a walk. Go for a hike. Do some exercise. Drink a cup of tea. See your girlfriend. I really need to do that. I've been a bit absent. Um, But yeah, like, the glory days are ahead, man. Like, just keep pushing. Love you guys, and I'll speak to you soon.